The recent announcement that Mistral Inc. and Uvision Inc. have been awarded a $982 million indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract by the United States Army marks a defining moment in the evolution of modern precision warfare. The deal, part of the Lethal Unmanned System Program, is not merely another procurement order in the Army's long list of acquisitions. Rather, it reflects a fundamental shift toward autonomous and semi-autonomous strike capabilities that can respond with agility and precision to the complex demands of 21st century battlefields. Scheduled to begin deliveries in early 2026, the agreement represents both a major technological commitment and a strategic signal of how the U.S. military envisions future conflicts, leaner, faster, more networked, and increasingly reliant on loitering munitions like the Hero 120. At its core, the Hero 120 is designed to bridge the gap between short-range, man-portable loitering munitions and larger, long-endurance strike drones. Its primary advantage lies in its ability to hover over the battlefield for extended periods, locate and identify targets, and then strike with precision once the optimal moment arrives. Unlike traditional artillery or guided missiles that depend on pre-planned coordinates or external targeting, the Hero 120 offers a level of tactical independence that enables frontline units to detect, track, and engage threats in real time. This organic intelligence gathering and precision strike capability makes it invaluable in both conventional and asymmetric warfare. Its modular architecture allows operators to fit different payloads and sensors depending on mission requirements, ensuring flexibility across various combat environments. The partnership between Mistral and Uvision underscores the merging of American systems integration expertise with Israeli innovation in loitering munition technology. Uvision has long been recognized as a pioneer in this domain, having developed the hero family of systems that have already seen operational use with several international forces. Mistral's role as the prime contractor will focus on integrating the system within U.S. Army requirements, ensuring the weapons meet the service's rigorous operational and logistical standards. This combination of field-proven design and localized production capability is essential for maintaining not only interoperability but also strategic supply chain resilience, an increasingly critical factor given the geopolitical tensions shaping global defense markets. From a broader defense industrial perspective, the HERO 120 contract represents the growing trend of investing in modular, software-driven weapon systems capable of quick adaptation to evolving threats. The U.S. Army's embrace of this model demonstrates recognition that modern warfare demands not only firepower but adaptability and data connectivity. Loitering munitions occupy a unique position in this ecosystem. They blend the functions of surveillance drones and precision-guided missiles into a single, operator-controlled platform. This dual functionality aligns perfectly with the Army's modernization priorities under its multi-domain operations doctrine, which emphasizes speed, synchronization, and the integration of sensors and shooters across air, land, and cyber domains. The $982 million award also reveals much about procurement philosophy. By structuring it as an indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity, IDIQ, contract, the Army gains flexibility in scaling production according to operational demand and budgetary cycles. This model allows for long-term sustainment, iterative upgrades, and the integration of new technologies without the constraints of a fixed, one-time procurement. Such contracts have become increasingly popular in defense circles because they ensure an enduring industrial partnership that can evolve alongside military requirements. For Mistral and Uvision, this means not only manufacturing and delivery but also long-term training, maintenance, and software support, essential factors for systems expected to remain operational for years or even decades. Operationally, the introduction of Hero 120 loitering munitions into U.S. Army units could reshape battlefield dynamics at multiple levels. For commanders, it means the ability to conduct precision strikes without calling in higher echelon support such as air power or long-range artillery. For small units, it translates into a greater degree of autonomy and situational awareness in contested areas. A platoon equipped with loitering munitions can surveil a region, confirm enemy presence, and neutralize threats within minutes. 
this capability effectively compresses the traditional, sensor-to-shooter, timeline that has historically defined modern combat, transforming it from a process measured in hours or days to one measured in seconds. In high-intensity environments, where decision speed is often the determining factor between victory and loss, that compression is invaluable. Beyond the tactical advantages, however, lies a deeper strategic implication. Loitering munitions like the Hero 120 alter the calculus of deterrence and engagement. They enable forces to apply surgical pressure without resorting to larger scale, riskier operations. Their relatively low cost compared to traditional guided missiles or aircraft delivered ordnance makes them suitable for prolonged conflicts or limited engagements where the objective is to degrade enemy assets rather than achieve outright destruction. This shift toward precision, persistence, and proportionality mirrors a larger global trend. Nations are increasingly investing in systems that minimize collateral damage while maintaining battlefield superiority. The war in Ukraine, for example, has demonstrated how loitering munitions can redefine attrition warfare by enabling smaller forces to punch above their weight through tactical precision. For the defense industry, the Hero 120 contract also signals expanding market confidence in loitering systems. Over the past decade, loitering munitions have transitioned from niche experimental tools into mainstream defense assets. Their proliferation reflects both technological maturity and doctrinal acceptance. Countries once hesitant to adopt suicide drones now view them as essential to maintaining a credible deterrent posture. The U.S. Army's embrace of the Hero 120 is therefore not just a procurement decision, it's an endorsement of a technology class that will shape future wars. It validates Uvision's years of development and experimentation and ensures that Mistral's integration expertise will have a central role in refining the technology for U.S. operational needs. However, the adoption of such weapons also raises ethical and doctrinal questions. As loitering munitions become more autonomous and network integrated, the boundaries of human control and machine decision making blur. Military planners must ensure robust safeguards against unintended engagements, electronic interference, or hacking attempts. Training and doctrine will need to evolve to manage these systems responsibly while exploiting their full potential. The U.S. Army's inclusion of training and lifecycle support within the contract framework suggests an awareness of these challenges and a commitment to addressing them through structured education and maintenance programs. Another significant dimension of this contract is its contribution to the U.S. defense industrial base. By collaborating with Uvision, an Israeli company with a proven track record, Mistral can localize production and reduce dependency on foreign supply chains while benefiting from cutting-edge research. This partnership not only strengthens transatlantic defense ties but also ensures that U.S. industry remains competitive in the rapidly evolving domain of unmanned systems. It further aligns with Washington's broader push for allied industrial integration, a concept increasingly emphasized as defense sectors strive for interoperability and resilience in the face of potential global disruptions. From an operational standpoint, early 2026 will likely mark the beginning of real-world testing and field evaluation within select Army units. The lessons learned from these initial deployments will inform doctrine, logistics, and future procurement cycles. Much will depend on how seamlessly the Hero 120 integrates with existing command and control networks and whether its performance under combat conditions meets the Army's expectations. Its endurance, communication security, and ability to function in electronic warfare environments will be key performance indicators. Success could lead to expanded procurement or even the adaptation of larger or smaller variants to fit specific mission sets, creating a family of loitering solutions tailored to different echelons. In the long term, the Mistralia Vision Partnership could serve as a model for future defense collaborations combining foreign innovation with American integration expertise. It exemplifies how cross-national cooperation can accelerate technological adoption without compromising security or sovereignty. As warfare becomes increasingly digitized, such partnerships will likely become the norm rather than the exception. 
They allow the rapid transfer of proven technologies into U.S. service while creating sustained industrial value domestically. Ultimately, the $982 million contract is more than an arms deal, it is a strategic statement about how the U.S. Army is preparing for the conflicts of tomorrow. The battlefield of the future will be dominated by systems that are networked, autonomous, and precise, capable of operating in dispersed formations and contested electromagnetic environments. Loitering munitions like the Hero 120 fit perfectly into this vision, providing a lethal yet flexible tool that enhances the soldier's reach, survivability, and decision-making speed. As these systems enter service and reshape operational doctrines, they may well define the next phase of warfare, one where intelligence, persistence, and adaptability outweigh sheer firepower. The partnership between Mistral and Uvision represents the convergence of innovation and necessity. It highlights how military strategy, industrial capacity, and technological evolution intertwine in shaping the tools of modern conflict. Whether on the plains of Europe, in the deserts of the Middle East, or across the vast expanses of the Pacific, the Hero 120 will likely become a key instrument in America's pursuit of precision dominance. As production ramps up and training begins, all eyes will be on how effectively this hero of the loitering munition family transforms theory into operational reality, and whether it can truly deliver on its promise to revolutionize battlefield lethality in the digital age.